Deep beneath the cold waters of the North Atlantic Ocean, something amazing happened in March 2024. A British submarine called HMS Vengeance stayed underwater for 201 days straight. That's almost seven months. The 130 sailors inside couldn't see the sun, breathe fresh air, or walk on land for all that time. How is this even possible? How do these brave sailors sleep in tiny spaces smaller than your closet? How do they eat good food after months underwater? And how do they stay sane when trapped in a metal tube surrounded by endless dark water? Get ready to learn some mind-blowing secrets about submarine life that will amaze you. These underwater warriors have figured out how to turn ocean water into drinking water. They can make oxygen out of thin air. They store so much food that sailors can eat ice cream 200 feet below the surface. But the coolest part? They've created special rules and friendships that help them stay strong during months away from home. Most people have no idea what really happens on submarines. These sailors live in one of the hardest places on Earth. Everything they do is incredible, from the high-tech machines that keep them alive to the way they work together like a family. After you learn about their world, you'll understand why submarine sailors are some of the toughest people in the military. They deserve our biggest thanks and respect. Let's dive down and explore this secret world that most people never get to see. Chapter 1. Trying to sleep on a submarine is like trying to sleep inside a refrigerator. The beds are only 74 inches long and 25 inches wide. There's just 18 inches of space above your head. That's barely enough room to sit up. But here's the crazy part. On submarines like the USS Missouri, there are 135 sailors but only 94 beds. This means 40 sailors don't even have their own bed. They have to share beds with other sailors in something called hot bunking. Here's how it works. You finish working for 6 hours and you're super tired. You go to your bed but it's still warm from the sailor who just got up. You have to sleep in sheets that another person was just using minutes ago. The bed might still feel warm from their body, you just hope they were clean. This sounds awful, but these amazing sailors get used to it. Submarines don't follow normal time like we do. Instead of 24-hour days, they used to work on 18-hour days with three 6-hour shifts. You work for 6 hours, then you have 12 hours to eat, clean, train, and sleep. It's like living on a different planet with different time. The Navy realized this weird schedule was too hard on sailors. Now, newer submarines use normal 24-hour days. Sailors work 8-hour shifts with 16 hours off. This helps them sleep better and do their jobs better. Each sailor gets a tiny locker about the size of a briefcase for all their stuff. Everything you want to bring for 3 months has to fit in a space smaller than a school backpack. The beds are stacked 3 high, like bunk beds, and each one has a curtain. This curtain is the only private space sailors get during their whole trip. But something cool happens after a while. The sounds of the submarine become comforting. The machines humming, the sonar beeping, and the gentle rocking help sailors sleep. Many sailors say they actually sleep better underwater than at home because these sounds make them feel safe. The tiny bed with a curtain becomes like a safe space. Inside this small area, sailors read letters from family, look at photos from home, and find quiet time in a place that never really sleeps. Chapter 2. The Food Miracle – Feeding an Army Beneath the Waves Feeding 130 hungry sailors for 90 days without going to a grocery store sounds impossible, right? Well, submarine crews have figured out how to do this amazing trick. Before a submarine leaves port, they load about 15 zero pounds of food. That's 160 pounds of food for each sailor. To help you understand how much that is, imagine loading three big pickup trucks full of groceries for a three-month camping trip. But here's where things get really wild. Submarines are so packed that food gets stored everywhere, and when we say everywhere, we mean everywhere. Sailors literally walk on top of canned food for the first few weeks. They sleep on boxes of food covered with cardboard. Some shower rooms get turned into food storage areas. It's like living in a grocery store. The crew of the USS Missouri found out just how creative they had to be. Cans and boxes were stacked in sleeping areas until the crew ate their way down to the normal floor. It's like an edible countdown calendar where the path to your bed slowly clears as you eat the food beneath your feet. Fresh food is treated like treasure on submarines. Fruits, vegetables, milk, and bread only last about two weeks if the crew is lucky. After that, it's all canned, dried, and frozen food for the next two and a half months. But submarine cooks are some of the best in the whole Navy. These cooking heroes make meals that taste great and keep everyone happy. These cooks face challenges that no restaurant chef could imagine. 
They cook in a kitchen smaller than most home kitchens, but they feed more people than many restaurants serve in a day. They can't use regular stoves with flames because that's too dangerous underwater. Instead, they use special ovens, electric cookers, and pressure fryers. Submarines serve four meals every day, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and midnight food. The midnight meal isn't just a snack, it's a full meal for sailors working the night shift. The Navy is smart about mealtimes too, they change the schedule every few days so different workers don't get stuck eating the same type of food every day. Here are some crazy numbers about submarine food. One submarine carries one, 500 pounds of steak, one, zero pounds of ground beef, 900 pounds of chicken, 300 pounds of bacon, five, 500 pounds of flour, 28, 500 pounds of sugar, and more than one, zero pounds of coffee. That's a lot of coffee. These sailors need caffeine to stay awake during important work shifts. After 110 days at sea, one submarine crew was down to just one canned ham, lots of cake mix, and some dried fruits and vegetables. They planned their food so perfectly that they used almost every pound they brought. Here's something that will make you smile. Submarines have the best food in the whole Navy. They serve ice cream regularly, desserts with every meal, and special holiday meals that taste as good as restaurant food. It's the Navy's way of saying thank you to these sailors for making such big sacrifices. If you're amazed by these submarine secrets, hit that subscribe button to discover more incredible stories about our military heroes. Chapter 3. Life Support Systems – Breathing and Drinking Underwater Now comes the most incredible part of submarine life. How do these underwater ships create the basic things humans need to live using nothing but ocean water and electricity? Let's start with oxygen, since that's pretty important for staying alive. Modern submarines use a cool process called electrolysis to split seawater into hydrogen and oxygen. Here's how this magic works. They take regular ocean water and run powerful electricity through it using special machines. This separates the water into two parts, hydrogen and oxygen. The hydrogen gets safely pushed out of the submarine, and the oxygen gets stored in tanks for the crew to breathe. The amount of oxygen needed is huge. Each person uses about 600 liters of oxygen every day just to stay alive. With 130 crew members, that's 78. Zero liters of oxygen needed every single day. The submarine's oxygen machines can make this much oxygen all the time, as long as they have electricity and seawater. Since nuclear submarines have unlimited power and are surrounded by water, they never run out. But making oxygen is just the start. The crew also needs fresh water for drinking, cooking, and washing. They're surrounded by water, but it's all salt water that would make them sick if they drank it. The solution is an amazing machine called a distillation plant. This system can make between 10, 0, and 40, 0 gallons of fresh water every day. That's enough water for a small town. The process is simple but brilliant. They heat up ocean water to make steam, then cool that steam back into pure water, leaving all the salt behind. Most of this water actually goes to cooling the submarine's computers and machines, but plenty is left for the crew. These submarines are completely self-sufficient for human survival. They're like underwater space stations that create their own air and water while traveling through one of the most dangerous places on Earth. Chapter 4. The Human Element, Brotherhood, and Mental Survival what really makes submarine life work isn't just the amazing technology, it's the special friendships and rules that sailors create to stay strong during months of being trapped together. The most important rule is no politics. When 130 people live closer together than most families, talking about things that make people argue could destroy the team. So submariners simply don't talk about politics. They focus on their mission, helping each other, and getting home safely. Being quiet is super important too. Someone is always sleeping because of the different work shifts. Crew members never slam doors, talk loudly near sleeping areas, or make unnecessary noise. Taking care of others becomes natural after just a few weeks underwater. Personal space is tricky when hallways are so narrow. Sailors learn an almost dance-like way of moving past each other. They duck, bend, and step aside smoothly to avoid bumping into each other all the time. Even shower time has rules. Water is valuable, even though the submarine can make its own, because using less water means the submarine stays quieter and harder to detect. Most sailors take three to five minute showers, get wet, turn off water, soap up, turn water back on, rinse off quickly. Most importantly, submariners develop incredible respect for each other. 
They understand that every person on the submarine is making the same sacrifices and facing the same challenges. This creates a brotherhood that's hard to find anywhere else. Submarine service is completely voluntary. Only about 1% of Navy sailors serve on submarines. Earning your Dolphins, the submarine badge, is one of the highest honors in naval service. These underwater warriors represent some of the finest examples of courage and teamwork. They voluntarily give up normal life to protect our freedom from beneath the waves. They are America's silent heroes, and they deserve our deepest respect and thanks.